We're on a home with an evaporative cooler and one thing an evaporative cooler salesman's not gonna tell you is the overhead on heating your home in winter. This is a massive issue because hot air rises and all of these evaporative cooling outlets are on the ceiling and they go straight out through the evaporative cooler unit. Sometimes they have a damper in them, but a lot of the time these dampers are very poor performing. You also get high winds come through on cold winter days that produce significant negative pressure, opening up any dampers and causing quite a lot of hemorrhaging of your heated conditioned air in your home in winter. In this video, we're gonna be doing a test of how airtight a home is with and without the evaporative cooling outlets taped up. And I think we're gonna be really surprised. So we've just started the ducted heating system and because this return is sucking in so much air from the roof, it's pressurizing the house and it's just making the, all the, the, the warmer conditioned air go straight up through the evaporative cooler. Okay, John, so what I've gone around and done is I've put some green tape on the evaporative cooling vents. Mm -hmm. And what has that done to the performance of the building? So we've gone from an ACH of 20 all the way down to nine. Wow. <laughs> so from the start yeah. to now, as an air tightness, we're probably about 60 plus percent better performing. Evaporative coolers can vary because they can have draft stoppers, mechanical or even activated on pressure from the evaporative cooler itself. But in this situation, this isn't an old home, yeah, it's been significant. Air changes now wow. are from 20 all the way down to under, under 10. So what's that gonna do for the heating system, John? The heating and cooling for this place will be yeah, a completely different building. Wow. Yeah. wow. So let's talk about what, what's the solution for an evaporative cooler leakage? I mean, other than just pulling it out, which I know you've done before, because you did it at my house. Look, I mean, you can get actual covers. Yep. But there's an issue that we don't want everybody crawling on a roof, Especially putting a people. cover over the top. I think you mentioned that there's a magnetic type cover mm. to put on these type of uh, vents. During spring, you might have a snap cold where you want to cover and uncover, where you might have a hot period in early spring. Um, and, and so really, it's, it's just not viable, is it, to, to have to cover them and uncover them. I mean, one solution that we've put forward in the past was just using a clear contact. We've used our green grill mask tape here. Absolutely. We tested a mechanical damper on a Brivus yep. some time ago. It didn't make much of a difference. Right. Like, they, they weren't dampered in any way, mm. like with rubber gaskets or anything like that. So. so realistically, if you're going to go for a new option, you'd probably look at a split system, wouldn't you? So it's uh, for cooling. For cooling. Well, it's just like having a chimney in every mm. single room. Correct. Who the hell wants that? Without moisture and having to have all your windows and doors open. Yep. 